You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Oh, President Trump has come out and he has made some comments slamming the super woke Cleveland Indians. That's right. I said Indians, just like I'm not backing off the fact that it is the Washington freaking Redskins. Okay. My God. Once again, once again, I have to sit here and tell you we have a large Native American subscriber base. You know what? They overwhelmingly are not offended by freaking nicknames for sports teams. My God. President Trump, our President Trump, has come out and absolutely destroyed the woke Cleveland Indians. But before that, I've got a question. My significant other is Native American. How much Native American are you? Over 50%. Over 50%. And you are a what Indian? Cherokee. Cherokee. Are you offended by the Cleveland Indians name? Hell no. What about the Washington Redskins? Nope. That's a hell no. She said she wanted to make sure you guys understood that was a hell no, not offended by any of these Native American names. Personally speaking, most of the Native Americans I talk to say the same things. Uh, we actually feel a, kind of a sense of pride that some of these uh, sports organizations has has grabbed these monikers. We know the Flor- Florida State Seminoles, they have fully embraced the nickname of that university. Absolutely. I mean, good God. Let's just get to the the story. This is ridiculous. Such a disgrace, New York Post. Trump blast Cleveland Indian name change. President Donald Trump blasted the Cleveland Indians Friday over their name change announcement. Quote, can anybody believe that the Cleveland Indians, a storied and treasured Well, he said cherished, but I said treasured. How about both? Baseball franchise since taking the name in 1915 are changing their name to the Guardians. The 45th Commander-in-Chief said in a statement, Such a disgrace, and I guarantee that people who are most angry about it are the many Indians in our country. What did I just say? Right here on the spot coverage, we got an answer live right here. Wouldn't it be an honor to have a team named the Cleveland Indians? And wouldn't it be disrespectful to rip that name and logo off of those jerseys? How about the Major League movies? I just thought about that. God. After months of speculation and internal discussion, the Cleveland Indians announced that they will be changing their name to the Cleveland Guardians. The change is set for following the 2021 season. It should also be recognized that in the XFL, there's a New York Guardians team. Congratulations, Cleveland Indians, for stealing the nickname of an XFL New York team. Wow. The franchise originally announced its intention to shed the Indians' name in December, acknowledging that the moniker is offensive and insensitive to indigenous peoples. Hey. Hey. Is it offensive to indigenous peoples? No. No. There we go. Okay. Cleveland's Major League Baseball team has been known as the Indians since 1915. This is despicable, guys. The name change also came after several years of petitioning and challenges from Native American groups and fans around the country who rallied against the team name and controversial Chief Wahoo. Really? Because I just... Boy, I failed to buy in to much of that. Owner Paul Dolan said that he had an awakening or epiphany after after the death of George Floyd, the race for the most woke, an unarmed black man whose murder in May 2020 by a white police officer was recorded and shared with the world, sparking national reckoning on race. Reactions have been mixed. But the former president's position was clear. 
quote, the people of Cleveland cannot be thrilled, and I, as a former baseball fan, cannot believe such as this are happening. A small group of people with absolutely crazy ideas and policies is forcing these changes to destroy our culture and heritage. Trump said, likely making reference behind cancel culture. At some point, the people will not take it anymore. In 2018, the team began distancing itself from its traditional imagery as they stopped wearing the Chief Wahoo logo on their jerseys and caps, an absolutely historic and great logo. Cleveland is the second team to bend the knee. Washington's NFL franchise dropped its Redskins name and is temporarily playing as the Washington football team, which is still ridiculously hilarious. Look, Redskins, just keep Washington football team. I mean, just keep it. Embrace how freaking stupid this all is and leave it the uh, WFTs or the WTFs or whatever they are because this is this is dumb. This is dumb. I'm I'm trying not to cuss in videos these days, but I'm effing pissed about this Cleveland Indians situation. It is stupid. I will give the Atlanta Braves credit because they did exactly what they should do. They made a quick and swift statement saying, we're not changing our name, period. We're just not doing it. But we know how this goes. The media will start to firestorm. The leftists on Twitter will go crazy. And eventually, there will be no Chiefs. There will be no Braves. We know how this will go. Chicago Blackhawks, you're on the clock. Good to hear from our President Trump. On this nickname change, I think he echoes what a lot of us thinks. Like I said, large Native American subscriber base. You heard it live right here. Somebody that's Native American, over 50% Cherokee, telling you, hell no, it is not offensive. This is pathetic. Major League Baseball has become a really pathetic sport. I mean, look, the NBA is still worse, I guess. But the fact that they moved an entire game out of a state, making a blatant partisan choice after listening to Joe Biden? Come on. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Uh, I hope Big Tech doesn't nail us over a, you know, President Trump video, right? Right? Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.